Hi, welcome to Physical Science. Today we're going to talk about linear measurement. Just how far or how long is that? So first let's talk about a ruler. Measurements. The top of this ruler is in inches and inches are divided into halves and fourths and eighths and sometimes into sixteenths. That means there are sixteen actual tick marks between one and two inches. So fractions, if you're measuring in inches, fractions are incredibly important. The bottom of this ruler is in centimeters. Okay, so it's metric. This is standard up here. This is metric. And it is divided into centimeters and millimeters. So decimals are important when you're doing metric. The centimeters, notice that there are 10 little tick marks between the 1 and the 2. Okay, so just like regular decimals. Abbreviations, okay. Um, inches is abbreviated IN. Feet is FT, miles is MI, kilometers is KM, meters is M, centimeters is CM, and millimeters is MM. If you don't know those, you're going to have to remember them. <clears throat> Time is measured in seconds and minutes and hours. Now, for us in this class, most of the time we're going to be dealing with seconds, but occasionally you'll have problems that have minutes or hours in them. Conversion chart. We're not going to do very many conversions, but you do need to be able to use a unit converter, which you can find on your Chromebook. Not a problem, but here's a conversion chart. One inch is about 2.54 centimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. One foot is 12 inches. One mile is 5,280 feet. One minute is 60 seconds. One hour is 60 minutes. Okay. So, how long is the red line? If we're just measuring the absolute length of something, it's how long is the red line. Notice that your units are in centimeters. Okay, and that's given down here. And that means that there are 10 tick marks between the 3 and the 4. So you would literally count, here's the three, right? We started at zero, 3.1.2. So the red line is 3.2 centimeters. Or if we were measuring it in millimeters, it would simply be 32 because there would be no decimal place. Okay, so now let's look at some standard measuring. This is probably what you're used to. Notice that you see a marking for 11, that would be inches, and one foot, okay? So how long is the metal rod? Well, we're gonna go to this mark right here. So we've gotta figure out where that is. Well, this is the half inch mark, right? That would make this next one, the next longest one, a fourth, the next longest one an eighth, these a sixteenth, and these a thirty-second. So this ruler actually goes all the way down to the thirty-second of an inch. So if we counted to this position right here, we would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that means this metal rod is 11 and 14 30 seconds inches, okay? But 14 30 seconds can be reduced. So instead of counting the tiniest mark, we count the next biggest mark and everything bigger. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and those are measured to the 16th. Or you could simply reduce the 14 over 32, okay? So this is 11 and 7 sixteenths inches long. Okay, 
So most of the time, you're going to be reading measurements off of a ruler rather than just telling how long one segment is. So here's what you need to do. One, you've got to get really close to it in order to be able to see it. And two, you've got to know what measurement you're looking for. If you look at this ruler, you're going to hopefully notice that you're looking at the centimeter side of a measuring tape. Okay, so we got to get closer. First, notice that there are four marks between 30 and 31. Okay, that means that this tape measure is counting every two millimeters or 0.2 centimeters. So these measurements, where the blue marks are on the blue paper, would be at 30, 30, 4.4 and 42.2. Okay, keep going. These measurements, now notice I can't see the 50, but I see the 60. So since I can see the 60, I know that 50 comes before 60, and this measurement should be 53.2, and this one way down here is 60. 767. So I'm measuring this in centimeters. And keep going. Since we're reading in centimeters, we're looking past a hundred, because remember one meter is a hundred centimeters. So these would be a hundred and three point eight and a hundred and eight point two. Still going. Now these We've gone way past the 100, right? So these two marks are going to be 116 and 127. Okay, 116 and 127. Last one. This we know has got to be before, right? So it's 127.4, and this would be 141.2. So now we put it all together. In physics, we look at everything as time goes by. So if every mark were made each second, we would have data that looked like this. Remember that first measurement was 30, and then the second measurement was 34.4, and so on. This would be our data table that we would come up with. Okay, and this is what you're going to be doing. The next step would be to graph the data and see if there was a pattern or a trend that we could use to make predictions. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this data table, right? I'm going to copy that data table into a spreadsheet, into a Google Sheet, okay? And I will help you make all of these Google Sheets and share them with you, it'll be fine. So I'm going to make this, copy the table into a Google Sheet. Then here are the steps one by one of how to do this. Step one, highlight everything from the table all the way from the labels through the last data point. Highlight the data table. The way you highlight something is by clicking and dragging all the way down. So you highlight the data table. Then you go to insert and you want to insert a chart. Now notice what that looks like, that little button, because you have the same little button over here in your menu. So you want to insert a chart. Now this type of chart right here is known as a scatter plot and it does Google does it for you okay so notice you're measuring time in seconds you're measuring position in centimeters it's known as a position versus time graph and you simply click insert move it over just slightly so that it's not on top of your data and you're done now you can actually use this to see where you went wrong. Notice that right here, I probably measured something incorrectly, 
or I wasn't paying attention to what the actual numbers were or the measuring tape got moved. All kinds of things are possible. All right, so today you're going to do an activity that has, that you're going to be measuring and graphing. All right, thanks for watching.